Hello, I'm Andres Cohn, Vice President of Archiving for Proofpoint. This is the first in a series of six presentations that we will talk about covering Proofpoint and cloud archiving opportunities. We're seeing a growing number of organizations either implementing email archiving solutions for the first time or moving from legacy on-premises solutions to the cloud and have a lot of questions around these technologies and what they mean for them. So these series of six presentations will cover a series of topics to help you better understand how cloud archiving solutions work and how Proofpoint specifically uh, works as part of that. The six topics that we will cover are, first of all, architecture. That will be the brunt of this presentation. The session number two will talk about archiving security, what you need to be concerned about when moving your archive to the cloud. We will then cover the three major use cases for email archiving solutions, e-discovery, supervisory compliance for financial services organizations, and email storage management. And then we'll wrap up the series with a presentation on the impact of, media, of mobile, social media, and the cloud, and how all of this comes together. These six presentations will give you a well-rounded uh, overview of what an email archiving solution in the cloud means. So with that, let's jump into session number one, architecture. The challenge with uh, archiving solutions that have been deployed on-premises over the last number of years um, are a number. First of all, there's a high cost, a high cost to, to manage this in, to begin with and over time. There's software that you need to buy, the archiving software itself, and probably databases and operating system. There's hardware, um, and there's storage infrastructure. And typically, most organizations put this in place to begin with and don't spend the resources required to upgrade it, keep it up, and have the level of redundancy you would want. So it either your performance degrades or your costs go up very high. It's also very costly and, and timely to uh, implement. We see many implementations that will take months or years to fully implement. And obviously this takes a long time to actually get to a productive system where you're meeting your, your business needs. And as we talked about before, the challenges of scale are many, making sure that at scale, when you have terabytes of data, you're able to, first of all, continue to act, uh, efficiently search through the data, as well as have a replicated data set so that if your primary um, solution goes down, you actually have a replica where you're able to get all, all of your data back. The last thing you want is years worth of data in an archive where you have a disaster and you're no longer able to get to any of that data. Now, SaaS solutions or software as a solutions uh, services came into place and their initial goal was to help solve some of these problems a and they had a lot of benefits. The, the two major ones was reducing the cost. A lot of software as a service solutions can reduce the cost by over 50% from on-premises solutions and they're really quick and easy to put in place um, and, and implement. However, they had a number of downfalls and continue to have a number of downfalls. Uh, the, the two major ones that are of concern to most organizations are poor security. You are pushing all of your email to a third party provider and you have no way of knowing what the security is around that data and limited functionality. By being in the cloud and by being first, premise, uh, first generation solutions, there's not a rich set of functionality around discovery, search and compliance that you would expect from an on-premises solution. Um, and one of the, the key challenges, of course, is meeting this uh, on-demand capacity. As we can see from this chart, you expect that over time your, your capacity is going to grow linearly um, and you plan accordingly. You plan step function um, investments to continue to increase um, your storage and your search and your hardware infrastructure. And those step functions are costly and you need to plan for them, but you can plan for them and they can be part of your project. However, we all know that technology and business never actually happens exactly how you plan it. So this gray line is an example of what may be the demand on your system. As you can see, it sometimes will go above what your capacity is and you'll have really poor performance. And you can't really plan for this. And this is one of the big reasons that on-premises solutions are failing today because the infrastructure that is put in place that is either budgeted or not budgeted simply cannot keep up with the demands that those solutions have. In contrast, what an uh, on-premise or on-demand solution, a software as a service solution, provides is the ability to scale on demand. You don't need to worry about any of the hardware, the storage infrastructure, it gets scaled on demand. Now, Proofpoint has a unique take to this. We talked about the security and functional challenges with a software as a service or cloud solution, and Proofpoint solves this by having a hybrid deployment where there is an on-premise archive, uh, uh, sorry, an on-premise appliance 
which serves as an interface to your Exchange uh, in your Active Directory. It's capturing all of the email, authenticating users through Active Directory, mapping users for distribution lists, etc. So a very tight integration to provide high-level functionality. And then, and this is key, it encrypts all of that data with a key that only the customer has and sends that data to the cloud. So all of the data that is now stored in the Proofpoint data centers is encrypted. And there's no way we can decrypt any of that content and make any sense of it. So the risk of uh, a breach to the, to the network and getting access to the data, or even um, a D uh, Department of Justice investigation getting access to data, or worse, a rogue employee or a bug in the software which exposes some of this data, is gone because all the data is encrypted with a key that only our customers have. So this really solves uh, the concern that people have around security. Now, by having the on-premise appliance as well, really this gateway to the archive and this tight integration to Exchange and Active Directory, we provide a lot of functionality that pure SaaS solutions can. And we'll talk about that in some of the future sessions. Of course, the, the, one of the key benefits with having software as a service, as we talked about, is being able to scale demand but having guaranteed performance. And Proofpoint, as part of this, provides a service level agreement around the performance of our service. So we guarantee the search performance no matter how many terabytes of data you have. So you really get the best of both worlds. You get all the benefits of an easy implementation measured in hours or days. Uh, fixed price per user, so it's very predictable, no unexpected cost, uh, and a guaranteed performance over time, at the same time having the security and the functionality provided by this on-premise component. Um, so hybrid really is the future of where some of these cloud solutions will go to, to bridge these needs. Now jumping into the architecture in the back end, and the question comes up time and again, you have all this data, terabytes of data, how are you able to guarantee that searches happen within seconds? And this is based on our grid distributed architecture. What we've built out is an architecture where instead of having one large database or one large index hosting years and years worth of data, whereas you can expect the performance degrades over time, we actually split all that index data over many different slices over many different servers. So when our customers do a search, whether it's an end user looking for an email he or she sent three years ago, or somebody in legal looking for all of the emails related to some topic over the period of many years, um, that search is spread out, fan out across many different servers. They each individually search their own repository um, in milliseconds. That, again, gets consolidated and presented down to the user. So this architecture allows us to continue to scale by simply adding more and more capacity. And we're able to afford to do that because that compute power is shared across many of our users. So you get this benefit of cloud, having elastic, dynamic cloud capacity where you're able to take advantage of many, many, many cores worth of capacity for each individual search you need to do. And of course, the cost is shared across many customers, so you're able to do that. Now, one question that comes up with this architecture is, the data is all encrypted, but you said that you're able to search across it. How does that work? And that is really based on our patented double-blind encryption technology, and we'll talk about that in our next session. So some of the architectural choices that you should consider when you're looking at uh, an email archiving solution in general, and certainly in the cloud. First of all, the, one of the key principles is you want to be able to gain access to all of this data. The information access objective is to be able to access the data, whether um, it's initially as part of the initial ingestion of the process or as the data grows, be able to have it in a really fast process. You want to uh, reduce the amount of unmanageable data sources, and PSTs are really the, the key example of that. So what a centralized archive does is it allows you to collect all these plethora of PST files and other archived services and mail content that lives around your network, put it into one place so you can easily gain access to it. And then when you have a litigation or regulatory requirement, you can gain that access in no time. Um, and that is really the power and the benefit of having centralized data access. But of course, you don't just want data access, you want it to be great for your end users. If your end user experience is not seamless, they're not going to adopt the solution. So you want intuitive tools for them to use, and we'll talk about that in an upcoming session. Obviously, all of this data can provide a huge business asset to you. It's a ton of data that you can access through. At the same time, it can provide a risk. It is a lot of data that anybody else can gain access to if it isn't managed correctly. And that's why security is so important around all of this. And again, we'll talk about that in the next session. And lastly, at the end of the day, a lot of this is about cost. Can you manage this in a more cost-effective way?
Many of our customers go through a total cost of ownership analysis where they compare a SaaS solution such as Proofpoint to an on-premises solution and typically find a 50 to 60 percent reduction in cost over two to three years by going with a SaaS solution. Reduce hardware, reduce software, reduce storage, and probably most importantly, reduce manpower and focus from your IT staff. So all of these things put together are areas you should consider. And again, we'll spend the next few sessions talking about security, how to access data through discovery, the compliance functionality of the system, the experience for the end users. And lastly, we'll wrap it up with a session that talks about social media, instant messaging, and, and uh, mobile, and how all these new trends can fit into an archive and how it all makes sense. With that, to quickly wrap up, who is Proofpoint? Proofpoint is a provider of email security, compliance, and archiving solutions for the Global 2000, for the mid to large enterprise. Over 4,000 uh, customers are represented across the world, many of the world's largest organizations, who rely on Proofpoint to provide either inbound email protection for anti-spam, antivirus, malware, phishing attacks, outbound uh, security, looking at outbound communications and enforcing policies for private and um, confidential information, and encrypting that content as it goes out, if that is your policy, and of course, archiving, which is a solution that we'll talk about in depth in this series.